Welcome to Kissel Diamonds. Today we're discussing a very interesting topic, but before we get right into that, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumb up, even before you start watching it. Well, in the worst case scenario, you can just unlike it in the end. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. All the links will be provided in the box right below this video. Point number one, the value of the diamonds, natural diamonds. I have to reveal the ugliest truth that's been there for years, but um, a lot of diamond dealers and jewelers don't even risk to speak up about it because they don't want to lose customers. And the truth is that diamonds do lose their value unless they're investment stones, but we'll discuss it in a bit. So if you're looking at the diamond piece, diamond ring, for example, within the carat weight between 0.5 to 3 carats you're obviously getting something uh, that you might like or it might look nice it might look beautiful but the amount of money you're paying for that kind of stone is insane and especially if you're going to a high-end jewelry store like Cartier Graf, Bulgari, Tiffany Yes, you will have a, this beautiful ring on your finger. Quality is out of discussion. It's superb. It's the top of the top. However, if you're trying to resell the stone in a little bit, maybe even in a few years from now, the price that you're getting from a store is ridiculously low. They will probably offer you 10, 15% of the money that you have paid. Imagine that you could have saved all of that and invested into something more profitable and something that could really make sense at the time. So my point is don't invest into natural diamonds that are just normal di diamonds for a daily wear. Get a beautiful lab grown diamond that will look insanely gorgeous once it's set in the ring and my brand guarantees that we can do this ring for you for really a fraction of a price of a natural diamond but you will really enjoy it you will feel like you made a fair purchase and your money has been spent wisely and you will not be playing this game hoping that you might resell your engagement ring and get a lot of money at a later stage. No, you won't, guys. It's a myth and it has to be busted. And um, you can even challenge me and go try sell your ring. Um, just to any pawn shop to see how much you're going to be offered for your diamond ring, natural diamond ring. And you'll be surprised, really. They're not offering a lot. A different story is an investment stone. Uh, what is an investment diamond? If we talk about white diamonds, it's a diamond with very exceptional characteristics that are very rare to find. The stone must be humongous in its carat weight. The color, grade, the clarity has to be the top ones. So it has to be D color, IF or internally flawless or flawless clarity. And uh, it has to be polished in a perfect way. It has to be um, triple excellence. Excellent cut, excellent polish, excellent symmetry, and no fluorescence of the stone. And if you're purchasing a ring like that, then you might be able to get your money back. And only in one condition. Again, as a normal customer, a normal consumer, you don't know where to get these stones, right? You really have to be in the circle of the people of the industry to be able to find yourself a great deal. Otherwise, you will just overpay a lot. And again, it won't be an investment. It will be just money wasted because you really have to be in the industry to understand what is a fair market price for a certain color, grade, quality and size. And if we're talking about colored, diamonds the perfect example of an investment zone would be a red diamond from an argyle mine 
that was closed certain time ago and since there are no more red diamonds to be found they're really scarce and limited that's an investment stone if we talk about colored diamonds natural diamonds the investment value of the stone lies in the intensity of the color of the stone rather than the carat weight so a red diamond of let's say 0.5 carats will be much more expensive than a yellow diamond of the top grade of uh, three carat weight so as you see it's not that simple there are so many things to consider and the only way to get a really great deal on investment diamonds is to be in the industry going to the exhibitions regularly being on the arena let's say with the people who play the same diamond game and only in that case you can get an investment stone that will ultimately pay off through the years otherwise it's just a waste of money point number two please don't forget that all natural diamonds regardless of where they're coming from not ethical and the first reason for that is that people who work at the diamond mines work in the most horrible conditions they're usually underpaid they're usually working just for food breaking their backs and it's a very dirty industry where human life means nothing nothing at all i'm sure you've all seen this famous movie blood diamond so it's a real story people get killed diamonds serve as instruments in the games of the powerful their exchange for weapon drugs money and whatnot and again do you think it's worth it to be wearing a piece that costs somebody their life i don't think so point number three all natural diamonds again as i said are unethical and the worst uh, thing that we can imagine is that kids work at diamond mines especially in africa so please consider getting a diamond naturally mined means that you are supporting people who are exploiting kids we stand strongly against child labor and we believe that no two or three year old has to be at the diamond mine either filtering the soil or using chemicals to clean the diamonds or going into the smallest shafts possible to get all the um, minerals out to see whether there is diamond or not it's not worth it please do not support child labor reason number four well natural diamonds come from nature right they come from underground and to remove all of that you have to do the deep excavation sometimes it requires removal of the forest so basically the reason is it's not environmentally friendly we're not even <laughs> talking about friendship with the environment we're talking about how detrimental diamond mines are for the environment the forests are destroyed the rivers are contaminated and just imagine to get one carat of diamond just one carat of diamond you have to excavate physically over 250 tons of soil this is <laughs> an unimaginable amount of uh, soil that you have to go through to be able to recover and discover just one carat of diamond so just imagine how much impact diamond mines have on the environment again it's your decision whether to support it or not and finally reason number five we don't want to support one single company who is in control of all the diamond supply and market and the company is called De Beers the history of De Beers uh, started um, 100 plus years ago and uh, 
what they did basically they decided to restrict the supply of diamonds and create a demand by which they made sure they were the only ones to control the entire diamond supply all around the world all around the globe and all the mines the african ones the one in canada in india in australia in the america and even in russia were all selling their diamonds to De Beers and De Beers was the only company that was in control of the price, the supply, and they were making sure how many diamonds have to be in the market to keep the prices inflated. We believe it's not fair. The market these days is really open. Everybody has an opportunity to make a fair business, ethical, legal, environmentally friendly again, and that's what we are standing for and we think that it's not just fair to make one company benefit from all the diamond sales in the world it's not the way it's supposed to be and sometimes things must change so that's the change that we're here to initiate and hopefully you are supporting us all the way through again please don't buy natural diamonds there are so many reasons to buy only lab-grown diamonds and please be sure whatever diamond you choose we will make a beautiful item for you be it a ring a bracelet or something else thank you guys for watching stay tuned and i love you bye bye